All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. Watching YouTube recently, I came across a video from Ham Radio Blog about a device originally designed to use with garden umbrellas or rotary dryers so that they can be erected in a garden without a heavy base. What the guy on the YouTube video used it for was to temporarily erect his antenna mast when out on a field day, and I thought it was a great idea. When out on DX trips, one of the challenges I face is erecting the mast by myself using guy lines. And a lot of people have come up with different techniques for doing this, but I always find it a bit of a faff, stretching out the lines, pegging them out, erecting the mast, then having to adjust the lines to properly support the mast. So if this works, it would make erecting the mast a whole lot simpler. Cost-wise, it was less than 15 quid, so I went ahead and ordered one and earlier this week, it was delivered. All it really is, is a large ground spike, which can be rotated to screw into any patch of grass. It comes with a metal rod that can be inserted so that it can be manually drilled into the ground, as well as four adjustable brackets that help to keep your post centered and properly vertical. It's made from sturdy metal and does weigh a fair bit, but not too much. It's made from steel, but is zinc coated for rust protection and will accept poles from two and a half centimeters to five and a half centimeters or one inch to just over two inches. So it would work with most standard poles as well as my kite pole, which I use for my T2LT when I'm out doing radio. Being like a large screw at the bottom, the spike at the end is pretty sharp. So I was pleased to see that it comes with a rubber cap, which has stopped you from stabbing yourself or tearing the fabric of any bag that you might wish to carry it in. Doing a quick test of it was pretty straightforward. Just find a spot where you'd like to erect your antenna and insert the metal rod to rotate it into the ground. Doing this in my garden, I did hit some big stones in the ground, but didn't really struggle and was ready to use in just a couple of minutes. I then attached the adjustable brackets. In the test, I didn't attach the T2LT, but I would need to fully extend my kite pole before erecting it in order to do this. So then I just slotted the pole into the brackets once it was fully extended. You can then bend the metal brackets into the right position to keep the mast straight, and that should be that. The base of the screw goes a good way into the ground and held the mast pretty sturdy. I was a bit concerned that it might move in the ground and as it only supports the mast from the base, it might be a bit unsturdy, but even in high winds, I think it would be enough to keep the mast erect. Naturally, if there were any concerns, then you could still attach guy lines for additional peace of mind. And once it's vertical, it would be easier to peg out the guy lines, particularly if you were doing this single-handedly. Bringing the mast down, was exactly the same process but in reverse and everything was packed down again really quickly so I do think that this would work well for what I plan to use it for. It's a good size and weighs a bit but I did manage to squeeze it into the rucksack I usually use when I go out without protruding so I was happy with that. The only thing I could say is to remember the little rubber bung it comes with otherwise it could tear your bag. When pulling it back out of the ground, it did leave a bit of a hole, but this would very quickly fill back in by itself, so it shouldn't cause any permanent damage to the ground when you use one. Since it costs less than £15 and takes a lot of the effort out of putting up your mast, I would say it's good value for money, and I'm looking forward to trying it out on future DX trips when I get a chance to head out again. As I said, they're currently available on eBay, so I've put a link to it in the description if you'd like to get hold of one for yourself. And I'll see you again in another YouTube video soon. 7 Freeze.